Yoon tied on her hold on her bag strap and walked inside the school in her own thoughts. But her thoughts were disturbed by her buddy who is none other than famous Yoon Jungkook. She doesn't understand why does he even bully her. Like not the physically bully but he always annoys the hell out of her. Sometimes she wants to jock him to death. Hey there little squirrel. He exclaimed loudly promoting an eye roll from Yoon. Without giving him much attention she began to walk away. Yeah don't ignore me. Didn't you miss me? Aren't you happy to see me again? Why on earth would I miss you? Jungkook chuckled. Because I missed you a lot. You can guess at him with a sweet sarcastic smile. Oh, Miss Donald Crookie, miss me. Jungkook chuckled. You know you are my favorite prey because you are so adorable. Jungkook tickled on her cheek and Yun slapped his hand away. Get away from me. I'm not in the mood. Are you in your period or something? Yeah, and if you don't stop, I will chop your head off and throw it in front of the stray dogs. Looks like someone in really bad mood today. Yun continued to ignore his remarks, picking up her pace, but Jungkook was still hot on her heels, playfully chasing her towards their classroom. You both are late again. The first taunt slapped across their faces as they entered the class, with slow step getting caught by the teacher. We got caught in traffic. He was late. He was blocking my way. They both said at the same time and then gave each other bombastic side eye and rolling their eyes afterward. Again with the same limb which only give you fame excuse. This teacher don't leave a chance to make puns. He whispered in your ear only to get clear from her and the teacher. Go to your seats and then don't make any noise. They both walked to their respective seats and Jungkook was quick to place her back on the floor and his head on the table to sleep. Of course, he don't take tension towards the studies and still pass the exams. You wonder how. Meanwhile, she studied the day and night, but still don't get good grades. How is it even possible? Not only grades, she have no friends. Well, don't really have friends because of her bratty attitude. No one wants to be her friend. Well, let me crack this sentence. She don't want to be friend with anyone. After seeing how people are double faced, she don't want to be friend anyone because obviously everyone is mean. And if you have to survive in this world, you have to be strong. In front of people, but sometimes you need people in life to support you and know yourself. No matter if it's good or bad, but unfortunately, you don't have anyone like in her life except for her mom. But she is busy working and don't have enough time for her own daughter. It's her and only her in this huge world. She then tried to focus her mind on the teacher who is telling something about mitochondria. The day as usual had come to an end. Yoon tossed her back on the sofa and let her body collapse onto the bed. A sigh of relief escaping her lips, she truly despised school. Her mother always comes at nearly 7 p.m. when she is working on her school homework. After completing her homework, she brushed her teeth and changed into comfortable clothes. With a feeling of excitement about finally getting some rest after a long time, she jumped onto her bed. Sliding under the warm blanket, she reached for the mobile phone and began scrolling through her Instagram feed. As she pursued the latest post, a message popped up on her screen. A warm smile graced on her lips. It was a message from her online best friend, the only friend she trusted with her deepest secret. Even though they met each other online, they were each other comfort zone and it was weird. You never share her personal life with anyone. They talked randomly on messages. Their conversation was usually casual. But she remembered when she had a rough day and her online friend messaged her just at the right time. At first, Yoon was not in the mood to talk to anyone, but she eventually replied. To her surprise, he turned out to be incredibly sweet and attentive, listening to her rants for hours, offering comforting words. They didn't know each other's real names, only nicknames they use online. Still, his message never failed to make Yoon smile. And he became her secret keeper, a secret comforting person she could ever ask for.
Kim was in the cafeteria quietly enjoying her lunch when her sandwiches abruptly snatched from her hands. Before she could react, she watched in disbelief as Jungko shot that sandwich into his mouth. Tasty, he said, kissing his fingers with his mouth full. Yun sat their mouth a gap open, pointing her fingers at him. Hey, hey, that was mine, and I already ate it. Want me to poke so you can take it back? Ew, you are nasty. Whoa, now go and buy me a banana milk, he said, taking a seat beside it, clearly intending to annoy her further. Why am I your servant? Go and do your work. You are my servant, little squirrel. Now go. Yun angrily stood up and walked away from there. After a few seconds, she came back with one banana milk bottle. Jungkook happily extended his hand to grab it from her, but when she opened the cap of water and drank it in one go. Now it was Jungkook's turn to open his mouth, hung open and hung, and angrily pointed his finger at her. That was mine. Oh, and I drank it. Want me to book so you can take it back? She repeated his word in a mock smile. You little shit, come back here. You run away from there and Jungkook chased her in the whole cafeteria like a small kid. So class, your first exam is tomorrow. Best of luck. Yun groaned inwardly at the mention of the exam and ducked her head down. Another tough week, she murmured under her breath and collected her things as the teacher left the classroom. Who told you to study like a bookworm? Chill in life just like I do. He remarked, flexing a smile, revealing his 32 dates. Not everyone as lucky as you, Jun. Jungkook stuck his tongue out and mocking her to which Yun responded with the eye roll. The amount of time he make her roll her eyes, one day the eye will roll up and never come back down. Stop chasing me, you coconut heart, Yun yelled as she felt Jungkook running behind her. Why are you going without me? He pouted and tried to match her speed. Why do you always ch chase me like a lost puppy? I'm just checking on you little square in case someone can nap you. Or oh, really? Yun mocked and stopped in her tracks and looked back at him, but he bumped into her. What the? Why are you walking behind me when there's lots of space beside me? Oh, it's a secret. But you wanna know why? Because the back view is very nice. Yun eyes widened and without a moment of hesitation, she started to beat him with the box she had in her hands. You pervert, I hate you. She yelled and began to run away from her. She began and he began to run away from her, laughing but also trying to escape her wrath. She chased after him through the whole university and there ended up in the rooftop. Jung glanced behind him, still attempting to make his escape, but Yun came towards him like a dragon. Look, Yun, I'm sorry. He said, placing his hand both of his knees to catch his breath. So you are sorry, huh? Yeah, it's fair. I won't say anything like that again. Oh, you sure you won't get the chance to say it again? She said and Jungle felt at her warning. Wait, what is that? Yun pointed at the sky and Jungle scrunched his mouth looking up in the direction. Seizing the opportunity, Yun lunged at him, grabbing him by the neck, getting him off guard. Yeah, Yun, yeah, leave me. I said I'm sorry. He striked in her as she bent her down, slightly at the edge of the roof. How about I throw you up from here and then you can say sorry to your parents? No, you know, I have a life to live. I don't even saw anything at this young age. I have so many dreams. I have children waiting for me at home. You don't have children? Yeah, I mean after I make them, obviously. You roll her eyes and squeeze his neck. Right, I will leave you, but the next time you won't be able to say sorry. She said with a warning there and took a step back, raising his neck and allowing him to stand properly on the rooftop. Sometimes it looks like you are my bully. He said, dropping his neck and Yun shot him a middle finger before running from there. The rest of the two weeks were a blur of exam, a study session, and a stress. Everyone was buried in their books after the final exam when came out of the examination hall, and the air was fresh. Oh, the last exam air is always different. Refreshing. She smiled as she took out her mobile, texting her friend. 
are you finally free the last time the done what should we do to celebrate how about a meet up after placing her bag in her pant pocket her eyes began to wander in search of familiar face it didn't take long before she spotted him jungko who was leaning against the wall with a smile on his face in grass and texting someone wait does he have a girlfriend why i'm thinking about it she called she called herself an idea popped into her mysterious mind and she couldn't resist a sly grin she tipped out towards jungko as sorry snatched his mobile out of his hands catching him off guard how about you jungko got sad as she started loudly and raging myself and quickly snatched the mobile back out of her hands what the hell you Oh, Jungkook has a girlfriend. She teased, and Jungkook swiftly locked his phone and put it back in his pocket. You know that's not good. Reading other people's stuff. Oh, really? What about the time you read my diary? That was a long time ago. Don't do that again. He raised his eyebrows a little and walked away, leaving Yoon pointing there alone. Wait, does he really have a girlfriend? Why am I disappointed? Yoon plopped down on her bed in grass and watching a movie when her mobile ding with. message she quickly picked up her phone to see who was messaging her She switched off the lights in her room, determined to wake up early the next day, not to spend the morning sleeping like a log. The next morning, it was 1 p.m. and Yoon was still sound asleep in her dreamland, blissfully unaware of the passing hour. Her mother began to knock on her door, but Yoon's deep slumber didn't even budge. After knocking the two, three times, she barked into her room, shaking her head at the sight of her lazy daughter. Yoon, wake up! It's late already. Five more minutes. Then it's one p.m. Get your lazy ass up right now. All right, mom. Her mother was not to be trifled with. She opened the curtains, flooding the room with sunlight and removing the blanket from Yun's body, making her groan. Mom, take this. I have a business party today, so I'll be late tonight. But it's Sunday, mom. I know, honey, but you know how a boss doesn't let at any of us break. My mom, but take care of yourself too. Look, you are looking so weak. You should rest. I'm your mom, honey. Don't try to be my mom. In shock, I said, "Mom, I forget to tell you about one thing. What is it? I'm going to meet my friend today. Since when did you start making friends? It's strange. Mom, not that lazy. I have a friend too. Who is he or she? You didn't tell me about anyone. It's my online friend, and it's a boy. Wow! Did you finally get a boyfriend? Oh my God! I'm so happy. Mom, it's just a friend, not a boyfriend. Since you made a friend, he must be good. Mm, he is. After a long silence, Yun Mom moved to the kitchen and came back, surprising Yun. And don't think I forget. Happy birthday, honey. Yun smiled softly when her mom bring that small cake. It warmed her heart. She didn't expect her mom to remember her birthday. Thank you so much, Mom. You are the best. I know I'm busy neglecting my daughter. I'm so sorry, but I will take time for you. I will take time out for you. Now it's fine, mom. Thank you so much. She hugged her mom and sat there for a while, talking with each other. It was almost three p.m. when Yun began to get ready. She stood in front of the closet, from contemplating her outfit choices. She rejected a few dresses, thinking they are either short or too fancy. After rummaging, she finally. Settled on one dress, baggy pants, a crop top, a small jacket, and a white cap. It was just the right combination, a comfort and a style. With her outfit sorted and get ready, making her hair was perfect and her makeup was on point, she then hopped into a car and drove to the amusement park where she planned to meet her online friend. She was nervous and excited, more you can say nervous.